hey y'all hey and welcome back to my channel i am your girl mina slay best friend as you can see by the title of this video i am going to be going in and showing you how to create the skunk stripe with the little highlights framing my face so first off i got my bw2 powder uh developer and i'm sorry powder and i'm going in with my 40 volume developer I am showing you these uh, Reynolds Wrap foil sheets, but as I was reading the directions on the um, uh, the powder lifter, uh, it was saying basically do not cover or create a heated environment because it can cause the hair to start smoking. So I did not go in and use the uh, Reynolds Wrap foil. So I just sec sectioned off the hair that I wanted to do, put the skunk uh, stripe at and the highlights around the face i'm just showing you the area that i sectioned off and this wig has been used uh worn already and the hairline has been plucked the lace has been uh cut and i am just going in trying to revamp this old wig into something different So as you can see now, I'm just trying to figure out where I want the, my parting space to be. I'm seconding out just like a triangle V uh, from temple to temple in the front section of the lace frontal. And that's the area I'm going to be working with. So right now I'm just going in with my... Uh, brush i'm just detangling the hair because you want everything to just sm uh, flow smoothly and you want to just get all the tangles bumps lumps dents and everything out of the hair before uh, you start working with that uh, because these are chemicals guys we want to go ahead and protect our hands and our skin eyes and everything from any kind of harm uh to our skin or irritation so i did put on my latex gloves and we're just going to go in with the um bw2 powder and this this right here this uh what is that l'oreal quick blue lightener i never use it so you, as you can see i'm like kind of hesitant on putting a whole bunch in there because i didn't know if it was going to make my mixture blue or not or keep it white so i just added a little bit just so, so i can see what it was going to do so yeah, I just hit it with that 40 volume developer and I want to give it a good mix just to see what my consistency is at the moment. And right now it was a little dry. I thought I added enough for that 40 volume developer, but it was definitely not enough. So I went in with some more and um, tried to add some more in there just to make sure I got the right consistency I was looking for. And y'all can just eyeball it. I have no measurements to this at all. I'm just going in and trying to figure out what's uh, the right consistency for me. And yeah, that's basically it. You just eyeball it. What you feel is right for you, then y'all go ahead with and do you. So once I realized that the mixture was not going to turn blue, I went back in and added more of that um, uh, L'Oreal uh, Quick and Blue powder. And add a support developer so I'm trying to get a nice consistency. So make sure y'all mixing it real good. You don't want no lumps, you don't want no dry spots, you don't you don't want super wet spots, but you definitely don't want bumps and lumps in any mixture. And you just keep going, keep adding more powder, more developer until you feel like the mixture is good for you. But right here, as you see, it's too thick. Now, if you're going in and you're bleaching your knots on your lace, that consistency would have been perfect. But because I'm trying to do, uh, I'm trying to lift the hair, I wanted it a little looser, so I went in and added more developer. You just want to eyeball it. Just keep eyeballing it. It's going to take a little bit to get the mixture that you want. But, hey, once you get it, you there. All right. It looks perfect for me. Once it's falling off the uh, brush as such, that's the right consistency for me. And we're going to go ahead and move right along. 
So I just parted uh, my section in two sections. And I went in with the developer and everything and started applying from the root to the tip. And make sure you separate the hair strands and get the product in between all the parts and all the strands. So you wanna take your time with this process, not taking too much time because the developer was working uh, faster than I thought it was going to start lifting. But once I put the product on, the hair did start to change. So you kinda of wanna move fast, but move effectively at the same time. I mean, it's almost reminds me of when you apply your hair relaxer. You want to go in small sections and hit it from the shaft, the ends, and then hit the roots because the roots will develop faster or straighten faster than any other portion of the hair. So you want to hit the roots last. But since this is not on my head and it's not my hair, I just started from the roots and worked my way down. And definitely drag the product, y'all. Okay, so as y'all can see right here, once I did the skunk strip in the front, I realized that, hmm, you know, it was like a disconnection between the skunk and the rest of the hair. So I wanted to just add some extra highlights that's framing my face. So that's why I'm doing this part right here. So now these are the highlights. And I think that this brought my skunk strip and the highlights together and made my hairstyle really pop so I was feeling it at this point so I just started taking some of that leftover product that was still in the cup the lightener and I just started you know dragging it down through pieces of the hair just trying to lighten certain sections that I thought would not be would be nice that would frame my face so that's what I'm doing right now and y'all can have all it y'all can do how y'all want if y'all don't want highlights with your with your uh skunk streak then you can leave this part out but i just i feel like i needed that to bring my uh style and the look i was going for uh together and definitely keep checking on your uh progress with your dye make sure you check on it make sure the hair is not burning it's not smoking it's not you know smelling like it's getting chemically burned if anything like that it was to happen you definitely want to hurry up and get your hair to the sink and stop the activation by putting water on it go ahead and rinse it out but mine's wasn't doing that so i just kept on going And this is just random right now. I'm just randomly streaking little pieces that I feel will be nice and a look good around uh, the frame of my face. Along with my little skunk strip. I can't wait to see what the skunk strip is going to look like, y'all. Because <laughs> your girl, your girl, baby girl, your girl definitely is here for the skunk strip. I love a good highlight around my face. It definitely brings out the undertones of my skin. And it just had me popping. So I believe I only uh, allowed the product to sit on the hair for maybe 10, 15 minutes tops because I didn't want to over bleach or damage the hair or the curl pattern uh, any further than needed to be or which was necessary for the desired color that I was trying to achieve. So I only let it sit, like I said, maybe 15 minutes tops and I took that bad boy to the sink and it was time to rinse that thing out. Yeah, y'all see, I'm still checking the hair because I'm scared. I don't want my hair to melt or anything or burn or, you know, get chemically damaged from these products. So I'm definitely going back in. I keep checking it because I'm like, okay, what is y'all doing? I ain't never used uh, the BW2 and the other uh, L'Oreal uh, lifter together. So I ain't know what it was going to do to the hair. But it seemed like to hold up pretty good. So I was good with the process and the progress that it gave me, baby.
So yeah, I'm just smoothing everything around, out around the edges, making sure everything is coated with the lifter and the lightener. And I let it sit, like I say, for about 15. And it's time to go to the wash. So as you can see, it's already starting to lift. It doesn't take this hair long to lift at all, which lets you know that this is human hair. And I wasn't going for a 613 bleach blonde. I was just going for maybe like a honey blonde. So this was definitely the color that I wanted. So just to shampoo this out, I went in with like the knockoff Tresemme, which was the studio selection shampoo and we're gonna take it over to the sink and we're gonna get this thing soaked up all right y'all i want y'all to check out these curls please check out the curl pattern even with me lifting the hair the hair did not lose its body it did not lose the curl pattern y'all as y'all can see the hair is still has the same curl pattern as the rest of the hair and it was giving me all type of life so once I shampoo everything out and rinse it out real good, um, I just pop this thing back on the mannequin head and we just gonna try to do a little style real quick. And I'm gonna let y'all see how the highlights turned out, which I'm loving it. The way it framed the face, yeah, it was doing it was doing it for me. I did have a widow's peak when I first installed this wig. As you can see, the widow's peak is still there. But I believe this next install, the Widow's Peak will be gone. I'm going to cut that off. You know, for this style right here, it's giving all type of <laughs> Dracula, <laughs> the Dark Knight, Batman, whatever is flying away in the front. So we ain't going to be doing that. This time I'm going to cut that Widow's Peak off. So just, in, okay, in the spray bottle, I got a little water, uh, some leave-in conditioner, and some extra virgin olive oil. And that's just so the hair doesn't uh, become dry. Once it does dry, it, it still has a lot of moisture left in the hair. So you just want to saturate the hair with the conditioner and olive oil mixture. And uh, comb the hair out. And then you just set the curl pattern. Don't mind my babe just walk past the camera. <laughs> it's okay, honey. I got you. But yeah, check out the curl pattern, y'all. Check out the highlights. I believe that this really kicked this hair up a, several notches. It was already the bomb, just being all the way black. But once I added these highlights, oh man, your girl then went to a whole nother level. And it is perfect for the fall season. This is definitely hitting for the fall. We got October. We got November. Everything is coming around. The leaves are changing outside. It's starting to get a little chilly. This hair is perfect. The color is perfect for the season. I'm loving it. If y'all are loving it, definitely let your girl know. Uh, let me know if you like the highlights. If you like the wig before I dyed it, it was just black. Let me know that as well. Uh, if you want to know any extra products that I have used that you might not have got out the video, just drop me a comment down in the comment section below, y'all. Definitely, if y'all are watching and y'all are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new content to my channel. And yes, you would definitely be put on and kept in the loop as your girl continues to upload content. I hope y'all are liking this video. I had so much fun doing it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all liked the way this wig turned out. The curls are still juicy as ever. This is a 28 inch 13 by 6 uh, deep wave lace frontal HD wig. If anybody's interested in purchasing this wig, y'all let me know. It'll be down. Just give me a, a comment down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get in touch with y'all, and we'll discuss some information back and forth. All right, this is it. This video has been raw and uncut. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. It was sped up a little bit. I know some of y'all don't like a sped up version of these videos, but... I did what I had to do for today, and I will check y'all out in my next video, tutorial, or short. I'm signing off with your girl, Mina Slay, best friend, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Talk to you later. Bye.